Yo guys, so this is OpenWRT, the CFN1. Okay. I bought this for. I will borrow it. I will make it borrow to my client because I'm doing a POE as an ISP. This is not so high end laptop, uh, router. This is a, a very cheap. So here we go, the unboxing. I think the hardware looks good. And uh, some adapter and uh, RJ45 jumper cable. So the UI is good. I think it's good. It has some, uh, some statistics, some POE, some the, tra the traditional Wi-Fi. It has so many uh, data. You can, if you're going to use this, we'll, I think it's uh, good enough for a router. Okay. So, yeah, it also has a VLAN. VLAN but uh, I want something more that I can do so this is the specs we'll plush it with the uh, real open WRT yo what's up so this is the okay. compass see open WRT CF in one model this is a very low-end uh, router for its time I think it's uh, N only or AC, I'm not sure. So that's it. This is done, Bax. I will plush this uh, because this is already a WRT. You don't need to do anything. All you have to do is uh, plush the firmware. Okay? Okay, I'll show you how. Okay? Now, I'm going to use this. Firmware from OpenWRT. I'm using this specific uh, firmware because uh, the CFN1 doesn't have the correct firmware here if you search here. So I'll be using this. The important thing is the this one, the MT7620, because this is the CPU of the of this router. So, I don't know how I'm trying to build, but I can't figure it out. So, I'm using this. Okay. Because if you search for compass, it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have this model. Okay. So, you can also use uh, some other with the same chipset. Because uh, the one I'm using is uh, the reset button is not working. So if you mess it up, you have to flush again. So now I'll show you how to flush. Okay? So let's go. Now this is the table of contents on OpenWRT. So you can use, uh, I use some of this, uh, the other is not working and the uh, this one I used this the compass because uh, I thought this was the same but uh, I don't know it did not work so I used the other maybe you can uh, try also the other firmware that uh, more compatible but uh, so far I tested it this one and uh, it's working it's working uh, good it has Wi-Fi it has everything except the reset button I don't know Okay, let's try to flash it. Okay, just download it. Now, to go to bootloader, you have to push this button, the reset button, and then plug it this in. Okay? Uh, okay, just push this and then... There you go. Just hold it. See, I'm holding. Wait for it. 
Yeah, the the mini blink. You can let go now. Okay. So what it does is it's uh, getting you to bootloader mode because this is open WRT. You don't have to install any bootloader. Just uh, inst just the just the system upgrade firmware. Okay. Just the system upgrade firmware. Okay. There. I got it. Now let's go to the computer. Now you have to go to your property windows and then you have to make a static because it doesn't have the HTTP yet. Be sure to get the one. There. Anything with the one. Because you will go to the address. Okay. Let's try going 1.1 1 .1. oops if that happens use another browser maybe there's something wrong with the uh, chrome see it's working on edge if you have that problem but it's, it's also working chrome but uh, a little clunky so okay now you choose the file this is my file that I downloaded. Update firmware. Now it's uh, circling. Opposite error. Let's try again. Maybe it's error. I turn off the Wi-Fi so there's no more obstruction. So click the file. Update firmware. Hmm. Try again. Okay, third time. Let's try again. Hmm. Now it's working. Because I'm using USB, so it's a little unstable. But I replug it and it's working now. So uh, let's wait it for it to finish. So pinging. You can uh, do ping if you like. So we can uh, use it. We can distinguish if it's working already. Let me. Ping. You have to ping the router one two one six eight dot one dot one. So I think it's reset already, but still not done. Or it broke. Just uh, be patient. If it fails, you can flush again. As long as the bootloader doesn't uh, damage. Okay. So just wait for it. Wait and wait. You can then remove the uh, your static IP. Probably will. Uh, it there you go it takes a long time I thought it broke so doesn't have any lights but I can ping now okay let's close let's open another browser there you go no password just log in see it's already in the firmware. Everything's working. Now, now this is what I'm trying to do. The one is the PoE source, and then the other one is also PoE, the LAN one, and then the two are LAN or PoE also. So this is the systematic I want to do. Okay. 
it's uh, blinking now now I will show you the because I've been trying to make it to work this is the default the switch the default configuration as you can see I'm in 3 so let me go to 4 LAN 4 okay let's change it okay see I'm on LAN 4 now I put it in LAN 4 now this is the default configuration so uh, the one will serve internet DHCP to this 4 okay so the this is the default so if you like this one to be bridge on the LAN I've been figuring out that uh, for days I can't figure it out because uh, you know I'm a noob and uh, I can't find anything in the internet but I figure it out it's I uh, I'm uh, thinking it's uh, the solution is simple but I can't figure it out but uh, when I figure it out it is simple okay so all you have to do for example you like this uh, tree to be your PoE all you have to do is turn it off off and off get it but uh, you have to untag here and tag and tag and tag so what will happen is this one if this is a IP address for example this is your PoE the one and then this LAN 2 3 will be the same it will just bridge this one that's what I am uh, figuring it out for days and I figure it out okay let's save and apply Now I will show you that it's working, okay? So I put the internet here. See? Let's go to status. As you can see, my laptop is uh, 1556. Okay, my IP. And then the internet is interface so this is our one my IP is this is my one right so my internet the other router is a uh, dot 20 see that the 120 but if I go to IP config IP config I'm 1.1 so this is the Comcast is giving me IP now I will change the port because uh, we bridge the 1 2 3 LAN so for example I go to 1 or 2 uh, that's 1 there one now look it get another IP directly from the router see my IP change to the one IP so you can use this on uh, PoE and uh, you can do this is uh, because I'm trying to expand my PoE and I don't have to use a switch now you can do it hmm? so if you like this tutorial hit the like button and subscribe okay be sure I will give you more tips this is a uh, very good if you want to expand your network uh, before I'm using a switch to switch my internet but now I can use this all in one device
I don't know. I can also use it in Microtech, but uh, you know, this is much cheaper. This is only about uh, 500 plus pesos. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.